Hey everybody, this is Summer Danae, and I'm going to show you guys how to make this really cute cotton market bag. I use cotton because it just doesn't stretch as much as acrylic does. It'll kind of bounce back a little bit better. Um, it takes about 240 grams, which would be about four of these solid balls from Walmart, or five of this kind of the multicolored, or you can just get a cone and it uses about 60% of one cone to get this size. And for the price of um, the five balls of variegated, you can get a whole cone and then have, again, 40% left over for another project. And again, that's if you buy the cone at Walmart, which is um, $7.99, or you can use coupons at Joann or whatever. So the measurements of this guy, if you lay it flat, it's 12 inches across, 14 inches tall, and then the handles are 12 inches. And you're like, uh, the photo looks weird. That's because it's not flat and it's got yarn in it. So when it's flat with nothing in it, those are the measurements. Um, and I used a cone of yarn. And I think this stuff is super cute. But I used a photo of it because this doesn't really do much. The base is the video that we're going to do right now. So it is just a circle. So if you can make a hat, you can make this base. So you can use the magic ring or um, I'm going to show you how just to work into the um, into one chain. So what you're going to do first is you're going to make a slip knot. I wrap my yarn around my fingers and make an X like this. And then I kind of hold my tail with my thumb so things don't fall apart. Go under here grab the yarn, pull it through, and pull tight. Okay, if you didn't catch that, you can just rewind. I'll be here. So now we're going to chain four to chain you yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. That's three, four. Now, you are going to work 12 double crochets in this fourth chain from the hook. If you were to do a magic ring, you would just do um, chain three and then 12 doubles in your magic ring. So, to do a double crochet, you yarn over from back to front and you go into the loop. Yarn over come right back out from that loop. Now you've got three doubles, I'm sorry, three loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through just two, yarn over, pull through just two. So now you've got your chain three and one double. You're gonna do 11 more, okay? I'll show you one more, and then I'm gonna pause the video so I can save on um, some space. Yarn over, go in, yarn over, come back out, three loops, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So you've got your two, okay? I'm gonna pause the video and I'll be right back when I've got my 12. Okay, so I've got my 12 double crochets and then my chain three from the beginning and you are going to join with a slip stitch in this first double. These two loops, you're going to go underneath both of them. So take your hook and go under those two loops, yarn over, and you're going to pull it through both of these and this one. You got it through both of those, and now you're going to pull it through that, and that's a slip stitch. So now you've got your first round. There's this little hole in the bottom. If it drives you crazy, you can weave this through it and draw it like a drawstring closed, or you can learn how to do the magic ring and then that won't have that hole there, but it's not gonna be a problem. So from here, you're gonna chain three. One, two, three, and now you're going to do two double crochets in every stitch around. So two times 12 is 24, so at the end you're gonna have 24 stitches. And you're gonna work in this same stitch, you're gonna work two here as well. Okay, so for a double, yarn over, go in, yarn over, come back out, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. That's one, 
and two. Okay, so now you're gonna do two in the very next stitch. One, two. Okay, you're gonna do two, 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 two all the way around, okay? I will see you in just a second. Okay, so now I've got 24 double crochets and I'm gonna join with a slip stitch in this first double. I'm not gonna to join to the chain. I'm gonna to join to these two loops at the top of the double. Underneath, yarn over, come back out, and then pull that loop through that loop on your hook. Okay, so that's two circles. Now I'm gonna show you kind of the beginning of how to do um, the pattern for the increase. We are gonna do a total of eight rows. Um, and this is the first two. So you're gonna chain three again. <laughs> and then you are gonna put one double in that first stitch and then two in the next. One, two, one, two, one, two, all the way around. If you forget, you see how, let's see if I can zoom in. There's a little, it looks like a little V because there's two. You're gonna do one in the first and then two in the second of the V. Okay, so do one in the first and then two. Okay, and then here's the next V. You're gonna do one, then two. Okay, and you're gonna do that all the way around and you're gonna have a total of 36 doubles. Okay, I will be right back. Okay, so this is the end of round three. You should have 36 stitches and your very last stitch should be two stitches in one. If you didn't put two, if you ended on a one stitch by itself, you miscounted somewhere and you should go back and figure out where that is. Now join to the first stitch with a slip stitch. Um, so that's 36. So we're gonna increase by 12 each time. So 36, 48, um, 60, 72. Eight, um, summer? 72, and then we're gonna get to 96. 84, 96, oh my word. So you are gonna keep increasing in this method, okay? You're gonna put one here, one here, and then in this second stitch of the V, you're gonna put two. One, one, two. And that's how the increases are going to go for the rest of the pattern. I'm gonna talk and stitch at the same time. That way um, this video doesn't end up being 45 minutes long. So when you get to that V every time, it's gonna have two stitches in that second V. So one, one, two stitches in that second one. Okay, and that's how you increase by 12 each time. And you're gonna do a total of eight rows, which is gonna give you 96 stitches. It's a big number. Um, I'm gonna get some of this row done and then I'll show you what row five would look like. Yep, okay, I did two in that V, one, 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 two, sorry, okay. So if you look at it, we'll pretend that we went all the way around. One, two, three, four times 12 is 48. So if we're gonna start this row, in this particular instance, you've got this little repeat right here. So you've got one, 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 and then this is your second post of the V. So for round five, you're gonna do one, 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 two. Okay, in every V, you're gonna put two in the second part of the V every time, okay? So do this increase until you get to eight rows, which gets you 96. If ever you end your last stitch, it isn't two, um, you goofed, count your stitches, figure it out. Um, 
I also have a hat pattern. If you want to look at how to increase there, that might um, be a little more lengthy. Um, but I think you've got the gist of it. Um, and if you want to make a smaller bag, you can stop your base at whatever um, diameter you'd like. All right, so now on to video two, where I'll show you how to do the body of the bag. All right, see you in a second. <laughs> 